I've been interested in tattooing uh, since a young age, but I didn't start tattooing until I was about 30. I went to Thailand and did an apprenticeship over there, and then following that I opened up my own shop. The most popular tattoos I deal with are, have been black and grey for the last six, seven years. I do a lot of black and grey, um, and that reflects the area I'm in. Conversely, like across the UK, black and grey was kind of seen as being dead for the last couple of years, and yeah, I do a lot of it. And it now seems to have been coming back in. You've always got trends yeah. going on like five years I ago. I think, I have to be honest, stars. although I say, I think people should um, get a new Tribal was <laughs> big in the 90s, and then sometimes things have been done, and it's good to move forward and find new ways of doing stuff. And you've got the popular ones that everyone sees. Feathers turn into birds, yeah, infinity signs. Um, yeah, you're always going to get trends and fads. But yeah, I think it's, um, it is more going towards what people want for their own personal reasons. If you get your first or two, um, I think there's a definite trend of people going for something small, trying to start off with something um, as a tester. They then probably want more tattoos and realise they want to go over what they've already done or what's in the way. So I'd always say, yeah, kind of take up a muscle group. If you get a piece which actually takes up the whole area rather than it's just like stuck in the middle, then you won't have to work around it later on. People now walk in and they kind of think, well, I want something original. They think outside the box and you know, a lot of really original art is being produced. Which, which then influences other industries, like a uh, big boom in t-shirt design with tattoo-based prints on them. And that's come from the neo-traditional side mainly. Um, but yeah, the tattoos and the style it's done has come across a lot of industries now. It's influenced stuff. Everything's changed about the industry. Um, 10, 15 years ago, people had to make their own needles. The machines have just increased in uh, the quality and over the last uh, five, ten years new machines have started coming out. So it's become a really burgeoning industry across the board. Um, and people are definitely wanting custom work now rather than just opting for the least worst bit of flash on the wall. <laughs> There's such a range of reference material on the internet now um, that Google's really become the flash page and that's taken over from having on the walls so pretty much any image you're going to find on Google if you research say, a St. Michael to two you're going to find it's been done that many times that it's literally made it into flash um, and the challenge then for artists is to kind of reinterpret and do it in a different way. It could just be something very subtle about the style, mixing colouring with black and grey, 